Welcome to the Green Chair Interviews. My name is Adam Mason, and I'm here with Kayla Euland, and she's going to be talking to us about the graduate teaching, graduate assistant teaching program. Uh, so uh, please welcome. Thanks for coming. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about your role in the sociology department as a graduate assistant teacher? Sure. Um, so I've been a graduate assistant teacher for about a year now, and I've worked under various profiles. So when I'm talking about the graduate assistantship program, uh, specifically, I'll always be referencing my own program, but it does look a little bit different depending on your discipline. So just as a broad example, um, natural sciences normally teach labs. So today I'll be talking about my duties, which look a little bit different. So I can only speak to my experience as a sociologist. Well, sure, that'll be great. And I, I really hope this might be helpful to folks that are considering applying for graduate school here that are interested in getting involved with the teaching side. Are you looking forward to that? Are you seeing how this is going to transfer into when you, when you finish and you're out there? For sure. As a graduate assistant a teacher, you learn a lot about what it takes to be a teacher. So you work under a supervisor who teaches you how to mark, how to use rubrics, um, how to lead sessions. And the odd time in our department, you'll be able to guest lecture, which is very exciting. And then you actually get that real experience of being in front of students and having that adrenaline rush and creating your PowerPoints and things like that. So I definitely see how this transfers into um, when I will be applying for uh, professor positions, and it gets me excited for that as well. That's fantastic. You know, a lot of new faculty have never been in front of a classroom. They have so much uh, background and so many credentials in their research, and then they get plopped in front of the classroom, and it's a, that's a whole other ball of wax, isn't it? Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your experience in some of the classes that you taught, maybe something memorable or something, something poignant that might be nice to share with folks that are considering this. I was really lucky in that I had a unique experience in my department. I was able to work under a supervisor who allowed me to create a whole lesson plan for one chunk of their course. So I worked for a full term creating my own week lesson plan and then creating an exam and um, a tutorial for the exam based on my lecture. And I actually got uh, student evaluations after I taught. So it was a really great experience. Is there any particular uh, uh, aspect or a particular class that you could share that, that might be uh, uh, you know, a little bit telling uh, of, of what a typical day for you teaching? Uh, as, a, as a GA teacher would be? I have actually taught gender, sociology of gender twice now. Um, in both uh, opportunities, I was given the chance to guest lecture. And so what it looks like is you need to prepare, obviously. You need to read the textbook, which is um, always nice going back to undergraduate reading after being a graduate student and then prepare your PowerPoints. And normally a supervisor, when you're doing a guest lecture, allows you to really make it your own material. They're not giving you their material to guest lecture on. You're really creating that. And I actually created it with a little supervision. So it was really my own intellectual property when I was doing it. Um, and then, you know, you have to get up there and teach. And so that's exhilarating. And uh, having the students respond to you is amazing. And uh, after that, you just have markings. So a lot of my weeks look like reading some articles that the students need to prepare for, and then reading their papers and marking based off of a rubric. Yeah. I also have done digital sociology. And in this class, it's actually um, different in that it is a cooperative teaching environment. So it's not so much a lecture to the students, but more of them getting into groups and creating their own projects for the whole course of their study. 
And so my role in that is a little bit different than um, normal. So normally you're marking and or you'd be guest lecturing. In this class, I actually get to interact with the students one on one, which is a little bit awkward at first because <laughs> it kind of feels like you're, I don't know, like standing over and watching them. Um, but it's a good experience in that I had to put myself out there and listen to the students and be able to provide feedback um, when appropriate. And that was a really great classroom to get some experience in, I think, because it was so different from lecture-based. That's fantastic that you're getting a wide variety of experiences because the teaching model in universities is no longer someone stands in front and spouts it all out and, and then off you go, good luck memorizing that and then spit it back out on a test. So this is great. You're getting in on several different uh, ways to reach the student, to pass on information, to get them to synthesize things and understand things and incorporate things, right down down to the one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's very exciting. Did you find with the things that you were teaching that you're uh, preparing for that and then you're communicating that deepened your understanding and your appreciation of whatever was the topic of your of your of your session. Yeah, you get a completely different understanding of the topic when you have to understand and teach it. And that's really frightening. But it's so good and it's so different from having to give a presentation. Nobody is standing there giving you a grade. It's, you feel responsible to communicate that appropriately. And so you really feel as though you're going to master that topic. And I think that that's really important to experience before you get into the classroom because it is so different from actually being a student and having to give that presentation and do that PowerPoint. It's a lot more exciting, and I feel like it's a lot less nerve-wracking, actually, when you're in front, of their, uh, in front of the classroom and you feel empowered to teach these students. Yes. It's, it's very rewarding to see when they get it, when the light bulb yeah. goes off and they comprehend. And, and uh, you know you've had some part in going, oh, this person's not just getting it orally, so I need to do something visual for them. Yeah. Or I need to attack, uh, approaches from a different angle, and then they get it. It's like, all oh, right, that's fantastic. So, uh, so many researchers uh, find it extremely rewarding when they begin teaching. Uh, would you would you say you've kind of uh, experienced that? Have you gotten that bug? Because I know it happened to me. I, I did for sure. And honestly, I have been really thankful to my department because they have matched me to courses not only that I wanted, but that were going to help me with my thesis. And so I've taught classes like um, gender, body, digital sociology, and all of these have components in my thesis. And so every time I have to teach or assist teaching the course, mm -hmm. look at the materials again, um, maybe sit in a few lectures and grade the papers um, or the tests, I have deepened my knowledge about theory, um, about broad topics, and I've stayed up to date on the currents in my thesis. So it's actually been really beneficial in that way as well. That's, that's fantastic. Really glad to hear that that's going so well for you. And what are your plans for when you, when you uh, finish? I plan to apply for law, and I would like to go on to do a PhD in law interdisciplinary with gender studies, and then go on and, and teach in, in the law gender department. Excellent, excellent. Well, I hope these experiences as a graduate assistant teacher really help you launch into that career and you can get some mileage out of the great things that you've experienced and, and just really enrich your, uh, your, your future prospects. So is there anything, uh, anything in particular that you'd like to uh, share with someone who might be considering applying for this? I think that they should and I think they should seriously consider applying for um, a TA position. 
it is really beneficial to their academic career to get that experience and be able to put that on, the, on your CV and say you did it. But also, I feel like the University of Lethbridge is a great um, place to do a t teaching assistantship. We have great support programs here to help you learn how to mark or do group discussions if you don't know how to and you're just green to teaching. And we have great faculty who are here to support and help you um, develop those kinds of skills. That's outstanding, and I agree 100%. The support for teaching and the support for learning to teach and improving your teaching as we go through as a student and as, and as faculty here at the U of L, it, it's just the, the teaching center and the faculty here are just fabulous. I, Thank you. Yeah. Well, hey, it was a pleasure talking with you, and I wish you the best of luck on the rest of the year, and good luck with your future plans as well. Thank you.